everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'll be showing you what we received in the December Sophie and Toffee Elves box, which was themed the calendar box. And I'll also be showing you how to construct a calendar using the molds and supplies included in the box. I really love the way that my calendar turned out, and I can't wait to use it this year and for years to come. So I hope you gain some inspiration and enjoy the tutorial. So the items we received in the December Elves box were the calendar molds. So we've got the backing piece and then the numbers and the little strips that go on the calendar. There's some calendar design film, epoxy resin, dried flowers, star confetti, pigment powders, metal embellishments, letters confetti, golden hooks, and finally some gold glitter dust. So moving on to the tutorial, I'm firstly taking the epoxy resin that came in the box and I'm making a mixture so I can create the backing. Here I'm just measuring out the two parts equally on my scales and then I'm mixing both parts together. I then took some different holographic glitters. So here I have a gray chunky holographic glitter and I've also got a black holographic powder, which I'll be adding in as decoration. So I just poured both of these into the resin and then I'm mixing it all around with my popsicle stick so that it's nice and spread around evenly. I then went ahead and I poured this into the mixture into the calendar backing mold and I'm just picking it up and I'm spreading it around. I followed the measurements that they included in the booklet but I did find that the measurements were underestimated so I did have to go back and make another batch of resin to mix in the glitters and then add into the mold. So if you are wanting to know the measurements that I roughly used for the backing mold it was roughly 200 grams in total so 100 grams for each part. For the numbers mold I had to use roughly about 120 grams of resin in total, so about 60 grams of each part. And then for the mold with the strips and the days of the week, I used roughly 60 grams in total, so 30 grams of each part. This was a lot more resin than they actually supplied in the box, so I did have to use some of my own personal supply. Um, that's just something to keep in mind if you are planning on making your calendar. I then let the backing dry overnight for 24 hours, and while that was curing, I then worked on creating the colors for the numbers. So I just divided some of my resin into eight little different cups, and then I'm adding in some iridescent glitter as well as some rainbow glitters into each one, and I mixed them around. Here I'm just adding the resin into the numbers mold, and I'm going diagonally so when I change the dates each month the rainbow will still line up and look like a rainbow. I really love how bright and vibrant these colors turned out and these are just some glitters that I had in my own personal collection that I bought from a craft store. So once my glitter backing was dry, I'm then going ahead and I'm making another layer for my calendar backing. So I'm kind of almost doming the back. I made a mixture with some black and white pigments so that it turned into a dark shimmery gray. And then I just poured this into the mold as well. This amount is also included in the 200 grams that I used. So I probably used about 100 grams of the glittery mixture and then I'm backing it up with the 100 grams of the gray that I just put in. It was then time to take the calendar design film and I cut out the months of the year and then I'm also taking the strips mold. I'm just using some UV resin to hold the pieces of plastic in place. So I put some UV resin down in the mold first and then I'm just pushing out any little bubbles that got stuck underneath. You need to keep in mind here that I did accidentally put this month upside down and I needed to turn it around. You'll see what I mean at the end of the video. But I'm also using this method as well when I'm adding in the little celebrations into the number mold. So I put down some UV resin and then I press down the piece of plastic and you can see that I'm curing it under my UV light. Once I had done that, I then took my epoxy resin again and I'm adding a backing color. So I'm using a pearly white color and it wasn't quite opaque enough. So here I'm also adding in some liquid pigment as well. Once I was happy with the color, I then added this into my molds. So here I added it into the little celebration molds and I'm also adding it as a backing for each of the rainbow numbers. So that way when I pop them into the calendar, they will stay nice and bright because the gray of the calendar won't be directly behind them, if that makes sense. 
I then also added this color resin into the little strips and I let all my resin cure overnight for 24 hours and then here I'm just demolding it. So here is what my calendar backing looks like and as you can see the holographic glitters look really pretty and then I also popped out all the numbers and the strips as well. For each of the numbers, I then took some black acrylic paint and I brushed it into the indented part of each piece so that you can actually see the date. And then I just used a baby wipe to wipe away the excess paint. Then all I need to do is put everything together. So I'm using UV resin to act as a glue and you can see that I'm just curing each part as I go to make sure that it's all stuck down and nice and secure. So I started by adding the days of the week at the top and again for these I did use the black acrylic paint and wiped away the excess. And then I'm also adding each of the white strips and these are just here to hold in the numbers. Next, I took the golden hooks and I'm just screwing these straight into the mold. I didn't have to use a drill or anything because the holes were already there and they went really easily into the resin. So I just screwed those in and then I just added on the month tiles that I made. And you can see here that March is upside down so I will have to fix that at some stage before that month comes around. Here you can see that I'm finally adding in the numbers so that it matches with the dates that we have in January. And you can see that they slide in really easily from each side. So here is what my finished calendar looks like and I'm really really happy with the way this turned out. I really love the colors that I used and I love how vibrant the days of the week are or the dates are sorry. I actually decided to keep my design fairly simple and not add in any of the embellishments or anything just because I wanted it to match the colors that I have in my room. Um, so some of the areas on my desk and in my bedroom are dark gray which is why I made the backing a dark gray color and then I just really liked the rain rainbow colors on top of that so that's why I kind of kept it simple but glittery and I really love the way that it turned out. You can also see here what it looks like out in the sun and how well the holographic glitters turned out. So if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.